Back everyone to the hello world guys this is another episode of the advanced SFML Mario game series and in this video we are gonna continue by uh, creating pausing functionality for our game that might not seem like um, something that big but it's gonna help us a lot when we implement the death functionality because when Mario dies we essentially want to pause the functionalities of the game and then uh, also display some kind of death screen and allow the user to replay the level or something like that so that is gonna be pretty awesome and uh, let's go ahead and try to do that so currently you can see I've got an extern bool called post and the reason I made it external here is so that we can use it um, you can we can base it on events we only get events inside of main.cpp and while we could create some kind of method of handling these inside uh, game.cpp we are not gonna do that because uh, uh, we're just gonna handle it here and it's pretty simple so what we will do is we'll check if the event type is equal to the key pressed event and the event keys code is equal to the keyboard code of escape if that's the case we'll set post is equal to not post which means whatever post was before we'll just change that now the reason we are using an event here is because if the user repeatedly presses if the user holds the escape key we do not want it to kind of uh, just alternate between post and not post we want it to uh, only alternate when the user presses the key and if the user keeps pressing the key then it should not do anything unless the user presses the key again so we are going to implement this as an event here in game of course we create a boolean called post to actually implement that and i have created so when we pause the game essentially what we need to do is we display some ui and uh, for just pausing we can just display like a black background so that the user knows that game is paused so for that i have created a rectangle shape called background shape and uh, uh, we just set its fill color to uh, the 000, 000 color and 150 and uh, when we update if it is paused then we just return and when we rendering we do allow everything to render of course when we are paused so that your user can kind of see what's going on in the background and uh, when we are rendering the UI if we are paused after rendering the other UI we render the background shape and we uh, do that but first of all let's just change it so currently we are setting size and then drawing uh, it on the renderers target and we're setting the size to the view size so that this background covers the whole screen but uh, there's a bit of a problem with that which is the origin won't be correct and instead of changing the origin every frame according to the new size we are going to do something different here so let's just uh, go here and what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna say uh, actually let's go ahead and uh, uh, let's go ahead and set its size by default to something like uh, one and one on both axes now what that means is that uh, so you can see we have got that it won't work though so because it expects a vector not to separate values so we'll just say sf colon colon uh, vector to s now that would mean that the size of this background shape is always gonna be 1 and if it's 1 then the origin should quite obviously be at 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and we can just call the set origin method here uh, set uh, origin and once we do that we can just pass the values of 0 0.5 that would set the origin correctly but of course it might not be correct when we change the size so what we are gonna do is instead of changing the size we are gonna change the scale as the scale is not like a attribute of a rectangle it's an attribute of a transformable and since we have got one one as a default size this is not gonna actually have an effect but it will now be mm, done according to whatever the origin we have got and uh, yeah this was a short video but that's pretty much how how you do pausing so let's go ahead and try that out so um, what you should see is that everything compiles correctly and uh, when we pause our functionality is gonna stop because we just return out of the update function early no physics no Mario's and no nothing so let's go ahead and try that out of course rendering is still gonna work so let's see you can see we've got Mario here Mario jumps up we get Mario to jump here I get press escape you can see everything pauses I cannot move even if I press the keys and of course nothing else gonna happen and we have got a dark background here and this is the point of setting the alpha to 150 so that we can kind of see behind as well and once I continue it goes on so you can see it's uh, working and of course whatever frame we have got of Mario it um, displays that correctly as well so that means that we have pretty much got the uh, pausing functionality implemented so yeah this was pretty much it for this video even though this was a short one in the next video we'll use this pausing functionality to create a death system for Mario so yeah make sure to stay tuned for that I'll see you in the next one and like and subscribe as well and bye